All right, uh, let's look at this uh, following lemma. Here's a statement. If prime P divides uh, integer N squared, then P has to divide N. All right, so uh, let's prove this uh, by contradiction. And also, uh, I'm going to borrow this following result, uh, Bazout's identity. Uh, so basically, if you have a greatest common divisor between two numbers, uh, it can be written as a linear combination of those two numbers. So there exists uh, some x and y, which is an integer, such that the greatest common uh, divisor of uh, a and b is written as ax plus by. All right. All right. So I'm going to assume the given. All right. So hypothesis is uh, p divides n squared. So we're going to assume that uh, p divides n squared. All right. So which means that uh, there exists some integer k such that uh, n squared can be written as p times k. All right. So since this is a uh, uh, proof by contradiction, uh, we're going to assume the opposite of the conclusion we want to make. So let's assume that the p does not divide n. Right. So if P does not divide N, then greatest common divisor of P and N has to be equal to 1. The reason is uh, the divisor of P is either 1 or itself. But we already know that the P does not divide N, so P cannot be the common divisor. So it's got to be 1 is the greatest common divisor. Right. Then we can apply a Bidzut's identity here. So our greatest common divisor is equal to 1. So therefore, 1 can be written as a linear combination of P and N. So there exists some X and Y, which, is our, which are integers, such that 1 can be written as PX plus NY. Right? Then multiply uh, both, uh, both sides of the equation by N. Uh, we get the following equation, right? So we have n is equal to uh, p n x plus n squared times y, right? Remember that the n squared is p k, so I'm going to plug in p k in here. We get p n x plus p k y. Then we pull out the p so that uh, it's going to be p times quantity n x plus k y. All right, so nx plus ky is an integer, so we could write n as a multiple of p. Right, so th therefore, by definition, we know that uh, p divides uh, n. Right, so there exists some integer l, which is namely uh, nx plus uh, ky uh, integer, such that uh, n can be written as p times uh, some integer l, which by definition means that the P divides N, which is a contradiction because the assumption was P does not divide N, right? Because of the contradiction, our assumption was wrong, so the opposite must be true, which means that um, the P divides N, right? Uh, you might feel a little bit strange here because uh, we just got P divides N, which was the contradiction, but because of the contradiction, this assumption was wrong, which means that the actually P does divide N. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.